Hello everyone. Welcome to ITech Frontier. My name is Adhikarnath. Today we will look into how to play Sarigama melody in Passive Buzzer using Arduino. What are the components required and what are the steps to be followed? To get to know all the answers, you need to follow the complete video. Before we get started, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's get into the GitHub repository where I have created the readme file. So let's look into the readme file. In the readme file, you can see what are the components required as well as the hardware schematic. So first, let's look into the, what are the components required. So components required are Arduino Uno R3. This is the board that I'm using. You can use any other Arduino board as well. And then we need a Arduino IDE software. We need a passive buzzer, which looks like this. And we need a jumper wise to connect with this uh, passive buzzer and Arduino. And we need a breadboard that is also an optional. So when, if you want to connect passive buzzer directly uh, with the Arduino, you can use with jumper, jumper wires or with the breadboard also. Now let's look into the hardware schematic. So if you see the hardware schematic, this is the Arduino Uno. And in this, uh, the positive pin and the negative pin of the uh, buzzer is connected. So positive pin, you can see the red one and the negative is a black one. So the red one is connected to the eighth GPIO pin. And then another one is the connected to the ground. So this is a sim very simple connection. So you can do it. Let's look into the components that we have. This is the breadboard, the passive buzzer and the Arduino Uno R3. This is the USB connecting cable that we have to the PC and jumper wise. So this is the passive buzzer. So in the passive buzzer, you can see the plus symbol that is mentioned. And uh, so that we have to connect to eight and the minus that is another port that is uh, that is to ground. So I'm connecting plus symbol to the eight and minus pin to the ground. You can also refer the schematic. So once this is done, we have to connect our laptop and give the power. We can also give it the power with the battery as well. So now I'm using this USB port let's look into the st another step that is how to compile and upload the code so you have to go to the Arduino IDE and then upload the code so let's look into the code so this is the Arduino IDE and in this uh, this is the code that we have I'll explain what is the code is about the first thing is the melody so this is the melody that we are going to play so for each of the melody, we have a different frequency. That frequency we have set here. So this is for Sa, this is for Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, Ni, Sa. So all the uh, octets, the frequency has been set here. And based on that, we'll be playing the tone in the passive buzzer. And this is the buzzer pin that I'm using, 8. And the note duration, how much duration I need to play and what is the delay between each note, that is also 850 so that uh, in milliseconds next we have is this setup so inside setup we have uh, we have to set the pin mode so the the buzzer pin that is 8 is it acting as an input or output so we are uh, providing the output right so provide the sound of the frequency uh, that's why we use it as output and in the loop what is the code that we have right first i have given a delay uh, 400 milliseconds and then we can see the for loop so in this for loop, you can see uh, the main uh, function that we are using is tone. So this tone is used to provide the frequency to the buzzer. So this is the buzzer pin. And what is the melody? So melody of I. So it is uh, looping 0 to 7. So that would be 8 octets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these all 8 uh, octets will be played one by one using this loop. That is why melody of I is given. And what is the duration that we have to play that is also mentioned next we have is no delay so as i mentioned e between each note how much is the delay that we have to play and in between uh, once the first octet is completed we have to provide no tone so this will be a blank time so that uh, we get to see the difference uh, between the ne next octets that will be in reverse so that is why we have given a, a break here uh, so next we'll be playing them as a reverse. So J and we are using J minus minus. So all the eight octets will be played in reverse. 
and uh, here also same new duration and no delay that we are using so next we are using this one so that is this code where this code will define uh, the speed of the playing melody so right now we are playing everything in the 850 milliseconds right no duration and no delay so after completion of one full uh, whole cycle so i am trying to reduce that with 150 milliseconds so i am keeping the duration uh, condition like if it is greater than 100 milliseconds i need to reduce it by 150 so it will play much more faster once it is played much more faster uh, so it will keep on doing that cycles until unless we have the node duration less than 100 if it is less than 100 it will go to else condition and it will go to the default condition of 850 milliseconds then again the speed continues normal to higher speeds so that is why this code is written now let's connect the arduino I, you know to my pc so i am connected so you can see the you know in com5 so you can also check the board here and you can select the boards and port as here so once that is done you can click on it and it should be listed here once that is done you have to click on this upload button so it will be compiling the sketch and then it will also be uploading so once it upload the code immediately starts working and you can also hear the sound now it is trying to upload you can listen to the music I hope you found this video helpful. So please support us by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button. Feel free to post your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.